A YouTube channel with 15 million subscribers, Linus Tech Tips, recently got hacked and they lost their channel and two of their other channels, three channels in total, to hackers. They were able to get them all back, but I wanted to show you some of the things that I learned through that process that you need to set up for your channel to reduce the chances of getting hacked and having your channel basically deleted from YouTube. First, let's set up some things inside of the back end of our channel, which happens on the Google side. So Google owns your YouTube channel. Everything is under the Google email. So we're going to have to set it up through that first. So go to google.com and you want to log in to your Google account that has your YouTube channel. And here you could click manage your Google account. Click this. And on this page, you want to go over here to the security tab. So the very first thing you want to do is you want to go to how you sign into your Google account and you want to make sure two-step verification is turned on and you want to make sure your password is also changed within the last year. So if your password has not been changed, make sure you change that first, then go to two-step verification. Now to make it even more secure down here, you'll see something called security keys or an authenticator app. Let me show you what the security keys are. This is what I recommend if you really want physical security for your YouTube channel. What you need for that is a physical key. This is a physical key I have that I have to plug into my computer or bring near my phone. And they have a couple of different versions of them. So these are called Titan security keys. These are made by Google. There's a USB-C version of them too. This is a USB. This is one that you just touch as long as it's on Bluetooth and they have a third version too. And I'll put a link to a non-Google one in the description that you could get from Amazon a bit cheaper, but I did get all the Google ones and you could have multiple security keys. So once you have those, you could actually set up a security key and then go through the process. So every time you log in, when you've logged out of your device completely, it will ask for a security key, physical security key that you could type in here. You also want to make sure you have a good recovery email and you print your backup codes here just in case you lose other items here like the physical key. But I recommend you get at least two of these so you have them in a couple of different places and not just one that you may lose. Now let me show you this other thing inside of YouTube Studio. Go into the Studio section and go to Settings here and click on Permission and go to Manage Permission and make sure no one has access to your account, maybe you gave someone access previously and they still have access, you could actually manage permissions here because if they get hacked somehow, they will have access to your account through someone else. This is what happened to Linus Tech Tips. The hack happened in someone else's account that had access. They downloaded malware, they got access. And I'll show you one other thing here. You also want to go to the customization tab and you want to go to basic info over here. And on the very bottom, it says contact info. Make sure this is not your Gmail account that you use to sign up for YouTube or Google. This is just my PR, basically something that people could reach out to me for any kind of sponsorships or contact, but it has nothing to do with my Google email, my Gmail. No one knows what that is, right? So make sure that's never public facing. The one that you use to log into your YouTube channel is never public facing. Never use it, never share it. Only check it because that's how YouTube will communicate with you. And a really important thing I wanted to share too, if you even have all of those things set up, there is one more way that hackers could get into your system and that's by hijacking your session time. So if you're logging to YouTube from any device, it usually doesn't log you out right away, right? So that's called a session time. It's allowing you to stay signed in because you're using that device. Now, People could basically get you to download something, especially if you're on a computer, and that could get access to your session time. Okay, so in order to avoid that from happening, never download any kind of attachment from an email that you get. So that's why you want to make sure when you get an email that has an attachment, you either go through the process of figuring out what that attachment is using a third party app, or you just avoid it altogether or reply, say, hey, I don't open attachments. Do you have another way to look at this file? Okay, maybe they could host it somewhere for you. And as long as you have some kind of a physical key or a two-factor authentication that's very secure, I don't like the text message ones because there are some ways in form of social engineering, someone could get access to your SIM card. These physical ones, someone needs to physically take control of this key. 
right? So that makes it really secure. And if you make sure you avoid downloading things that could give away your session time through basically being hacked and not giving anyone permission that shouldn't have permission or reduce your entire footprint so not many people have permission to your channel, you should be a lot more secure. So I hope you found this useful and I'll see you next time.